Hey all, over 300 subscribers now. I can't tell you how surprised and grateful I am for your support. I thought I'd take a few minutes and give you a tour of my off-grid home, give you a taste of what it's like to be off-grid, and encourage you to read the book. It's got tons of information in it, and I'm sure you'll love it. It's finally stopped snowing. It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm going to go sweep off my solar panel so I can capture some sun before the clouds roll in again. My web energy logger says that it's two below zero and that's better than the 20 below that it was just a few hours ago. As long as I'm going out, I might as well empty out the wood stove. I let it die down this morning, but I gotta make room for more wood. Dressed like a cosmonaut now. If you don't know what that reference is all about, you have to read the book, Energy Ambassadors. It's on my Amazon author page and I'll try to post a link to it on this video. Wood ash bucket, buried in the snow, might hold a few more. Probably not all of what I need to put in there right now. Such a fun job. Smoke and ash everywhere. There's gotta be a better way. Yeah, fossil fuels. Thermostats. Wood ash traction control. I'd like to think it's always grilling season, but it might be a little while before I get back out here. This is 2,000 watts of PV panels. And I apologize for the lack of continuity. This is a different day from my original video shoot because Apple decided that they would be kind enough to fix my iPhone and make it shut off when they decided it was time for it to shut off. This array can be manually tilted seasonally. Just two bolts and it tilts quite easily. Quite a bit of ice on this array. And it doesn't tilt up like the other one does. So the sun's gonna need to do a little more work on that. Sure is a beautiful day though. Insulating snow caps on top of the beehives. I hope they're okay. I'm not going over there right now to check. Wind tower looks good. 120 feet to hub height. 25 miles an hour, I'll get about a thousand watts. Doesn't add a whole lot, but it helps when I need it. Anemometer up there recording wind speed that we looked at earlier. Sky wires are clear, which is nice. Sometimes they get iced up. I'm gonna bang off the ice, otherwise they get too heavy and things start to get a little shaky. And of course, no off-grid home is complete without a fossil fuel generator. This is a diesel generator, which has served me quite well for the last 18 years. It's seen quite a lot of vegetable oil based biodiesel and also the nasty stuff from underground. But there are times when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow and this is your only option to keep things going. When someone asks me about going off grid, the first thing I do is talk about batteries. My batteries are in this well insulated shed, which I'm not gonna get to today. But batteries are the bane of any off grid dwellers existence. There's a couple under here that didn't make it to the recycling bin yet. After seven years, um, pretty much seven years is all you get out of almost any battery that I've ever tried. Lead acid battery, doesn't matter what brand, what style, what size. Lead acid, seven years off grid. Water every month. If you forget, they'll die in a year. Wood pile looks good. Just need to move some up to the porch for easy access. Anyone think I'm a purist of some sort? I do enjoy fossil fuels. I love their convenience, I love the power. I don't like the smell so much, but uh, nothing like a good chainsaw. A good chainsaw is a good friend, but safety equipment is a far better friend. Ah, great. Propane cylinder, That's my project. For later today, just to finish building my forge, I guess I'll get chopped. 
cut off the top. And um, that's a different project and a different video. We'll get to that. Here's a quick tour of the off-grid control system. Wind charge controller and brake. Wind dump load, basically an electric heater when batteries are full and there's still wind power. This uh, just converts the wind into heat. Solar charge controller. Let's see, what do we have coming in here? At 2,400 watts coming in, I should have about 4,000, so, so I have to go out and sweep off the panels. Inverter takes battery power, converts it into the AC power that the house needs. Got my wind energy logger, five miles an hour. Generator circuit breaker. Generator remote start switch down here. This is the Site Sage energy monitor. This allows me to monitor each circuit in the home and analyze where the electricity is being used. Here's the kitchen witch. She's moved to the mudroom. She's the mudroom witch. Well, that gives you a quick idea about what it's like to be off-grid. Buy the book, like the channel. Thanks for watching.